I'm Nox Zumund, and today we're going to be doing Astronaut from Proving Grounds um, Practice Offsex Proving Grounds Practice Labs. Um, anyway, I've already spun the box up, so let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to do in map dash p dash. I'm going to set my rose flags so that I can see the output and I can see the um, ports that appear when they do appear. Um, in the bottom section, I'm going to go ahead and start in map. I'm going to do dash sc for default scripts, sv to enumerate versions, at p. Um, and I'm going to start looking at these ports, 22 and 80. Um, I'd like to move this so that I can do my output. So let's do this. CD into astronaut, clear that out. And then we'll output into inmap format to a file called inmap.md. And okay, so we only have two ports open. That's perfectly fine. That should make this a little bit easier. Um, so while the default scripts are going to run, I'm going to go ahead and start up GoBuster. Do GoBuster. And we're going to do in dir mode. Dir Buster in dir mode. Pack U. And then the IP address HTTPS or HTTP 192.168. 19712, uh, our word list with tech W. We're going to say don't output any errors. It's like 500 errors. Um, problems here. Uh, we're going to say I'm going to use 50 threads. The threading's not necessarily important. We probably wouldn't want to do this many if we were doing anything else. But since this is a CTF, I'm perfectly fine running that. We'll go ahead and let that run. And then we can take a look at our output and map up output in Obsidian. Python. I choose Python not because it is Python, obviously, but because uh, Python is colorful in Obsidian. And I like it. And I get rid of all this other crap. We see 22 and 80. On here, we can already see something called graph admin. And maybe we need to add that graph admin. Yeah, okay. So now we're getting a bunch of stuff. Let's, let's navigate to that then. Can't go into the backups file. That's fine. Say hello to grav. Um, User assets system sounds nice. Let's look at that. Let's see it. Grav is a grav get grav. Grav is a content management software. Uh, grav exploit. Grav CMS unauthenticated arbitrary YAML write upload. Okay, take a look at that. Look at that. Remote code execution, vulnerable, unauthenticated. This is the same thing? I'm a different, okay. I think they're all the same. Th same thing. Um, let's take a look at this. Uh, let's clear that out. And nano exploit.py. Let's head to the top and take a look at it. So it's importing libraries, request, b64, time, URL, lib. Telling us what to do. We can give it an argument. In the path. It's setting the URL. Okay. Let's just see what happens. Python 3, exploit.py. It wants C for command, whatever. Who am I? E for HTTP for the uh, IP address, which is 192.168.197.12. And then we need to send that to graph admin. List index out of range better there we go 
Schedule task created for file. Schedule task created for file creation. What's that going on about? I'm gonna stop the. I'm gonna stop GoBuster. In temp logs backup assets system vendor. Got password. There's the admin. Grab admin admin, which is why this works down here. Okay. Um, get rid of that, and let's set up a RL wrap netcat nine thousand. Well, let's get a reverse shell. Let's see if this works. Um. We'll really take it and see if it works. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's look at shells.com. And my IP 45, 45, 231. It is in bash. And we can do this. Little task created for command. Wait one minute. Wait one minute. Yeah, whatever. We'll we'll wait for this this minute. So you go ahead and pass this by. I'll I'll unpause when this has finished. Well, it says exploit completed, but that's not promising. Obviously, we're not really gonna see. We could like ping ourselves or something. Um, but I think that if we're gonna do anything, we might as well go all out. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. Um, I'll reach back out and I guess when this two minutes is over, we'll see what happens. Okay, well, it finished pretty quick, and we did get a reverse shell back. So we know that this exploit works. Um, and who are we? Oh, I guess we're dub 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 data. So I, I highly doubt that we're going to have anything like that. Sudo L, we can add a T on tap. Nothing there. Is that what it is? Cron tab. Cron tab L. So we do have. We have this running. At Etsy cron tab. Mm. It's in our notes real fast. We'll come back and look at it if we need to. Run tab L that what else did we see? Oh something else. Cron tab, cron tab, cron tab, cron tab. I thought I did anyway. Pseudo L. I guess it wasn't there wasn't anything else. Um CD backup. Hit keep. Is it not putting me in there? It's dot get keep. Oh, it's a file. At dot get. SLA. Something else that we should be looking for. Um, like grab CMS files, grab CMS, um, password. 
probably a bad way to say that. System config file. Big system.yaml users config system.yaml ls user oh cd user ls big ls at system.yaml nothing there ls at versions one seven eight alt What is that? What? At Mississippi. Data. At site.yaml. Oh, I wonder if that's what I did. <laughs> yeah. SH sounds cat admin dot yaml. That sounds good. Oh, okay. Got a hash. Full name admin hash. Grab this, um, path. There we go. Admin.yaml. So let's, I guess let's try to crack that. Fill that out. Uh, nano hash. I'm in. Uh, control X, Y, enter. That's John that, John hash. Use whatever, we'll use Rock you. Um, anyway, this could take a minute, so I'll uh, see you in a second. Okay, well, this is taking quite a while, so let's go back and uh, see again while that runs we'll just let it run in the background um what was something we did it was right right the cron tab is let's look at this pseudo no sorry uh we want the set uid bit so find the root folder perm U plus S U dev null. U password mount new group password UT. Still searching, which is thing. How long it's taking? Um, SH key sign HP. G password. 
HP. Let's look up. Go to GTFO bins. GTFO. There we go. And let's look up PHP. Seven. Let's do it. And give this a shot. Uh, if the binary has a set UID bit set, it does not drop elevated privileges and may be of use to access the file system. Escalate or maintain privileges, privilege access as a suited backdoor. If it is used to run, if it is used to run SHP, omit the P argument on systems like Debian, stretch, less than stretch, that allow the default SH shell to run with suited privileges. This example creates a local suited copy binary and runs its runs it to maintain elevated privileges to L to interact with an existing suit binary, skip the first command and run the program using its original path. Okay. Okay, well, whatever, we'll just copy paste. No such file or directory, right. Uh, has there been? <laughs> Is that, is that gonna work? ID? Uh, Eve ID of root. Root, CD2 root, right? There we go. Alice Ecole, am I in the right directory? I am. Hey, there's a stuff. Let's cat flag.txt. Like one text. Cool, dude. Okay, cool. So it was a, a PHP binary, uh, which means that I can actually stop this scan. No wonder it was taking so long. It was look, look. It it made it all the way down to the J's. <laughs> oh man, holy crap! That took forever. Um, okay. So and we found that earlier. I should have just looked to begin with. Hmm. Anyway, uh, I hope that you learned something. Maybe you learned from my mistake. I waited quite a long time. Um. Anyway, see you in the next one. Have a good day.